Hi, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for Libra. This is a spread that I'm calling, are you done with your ex yet? Okay, so let's see how you guys like this, Libra. By the way, Libra, thank you so much for all your subscribes and your views. Really appreciate it. So let's see what we got for you guys. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Libra on this are they done with their ex spread for now until the end of February 2020. Please give us clear messages. All right. All right, Libra. Let's see what we got. The first one is how do you feel about your ex? How your ex feels about you, what you need to leave behind, what you don't see coming, and are you done yet? The bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Okie doke. Um, let's see here. How you feel about your ex is the Three of Wands. Okay. Um, I see the three of wands here in this particular deck as uh, wanting to start something new, okay? Um, the three of wands is about looking out into the horizon, um, you know, waiting to see what comes in for you. Um, you know, this woman in, in this particular deck is showing a lot of courage um, with this eagle. She has you know, train this eagle. It's her pet at this point. She's, you know, um, waiting. She's about to capture it coming in. So it's about, I think, new beginnings, waiting for something new here to begin, uh, waiting to see what comes in after a choice that you've made. Okay. And see how your ex feels about you is the hanged man. Okay. Um, the hanged man can be uh, someone who is enlightened, someone who um, has a new perspective on something. So your ex might be feeling this way towards you. They might feel like they have a new perspective on the relationship. They might feel enlightened about, you know, what you guys have been through. Um, it can also be seen as someone who's keeping themselves tied to the situation, okay? Voluntarily to a point, okay? Um, kind of like at a standstill, not making a choice, not moving from, from one perspective to another yet. Okay. That's the hanged man. That's how they feel about you. So they could be in a state of limbo with respect to their feelings towards you. Okay. What you need to leave behind is the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Um, the 10 of pentacles is about feeling fulfilled, happy, uh, you know, having a happy family, a happy home, financial stability, stability within a family environment, having a home. So if this is in the position of what you need to leave behind, you know, perhaps with your ex, you had all this. Okay. Um, perhaps you were in a happy family environment um, or a perceived happy family environment where there was the sense of um, stability and happiness. And if it's in the position of what you need to leave behind, I guess it's saying that um, you need to let go of that. You need to let go of perhaps the past or, you know, what once was or what you had built together, okay? What you don't see coming is the Queen of Pentacles, okay? The Queen of Pentacles is stable energy. It's also Capricorn. It could literally mean a person coming into your life who is a Capricorn who does have stability. Um, I think it could also mean that um, you are going to become this Queen of Pentacles, right? You're gonna become this very kind of nurturing individual who holds on to her to her finances or her security or is just very nurturing in some way, okay? 
Um, you might also have somebody coming into your life who is this way or who has this to offer to you. Okay, so I think what you don't see coming is still stability um, and, and nurturing of some sort, whether that's going to come from you or it's going to come from someone else. This is what is coming to you. Okay, even though you're you're being asked to leave behind, you know, these ten of pentacles here or the wishes of, you know, that that's what you wanted it to be. OK, because it also maybe it was never this way where it was a ten of pentacles um, relationship. Maybe that's what you always aspired it to be. OK, um, so you also you need to leave that idea or that notion behind. So it may not be the reality of it that you need to leave behind, but maybe more the hope that that's what it was going to be. OK, but. You do have this other stability coming, okay, um, with this Queen of Pentacles. And again, this could be within yourself or within someone else that's coming to you, okay? Um, are you done with your ex yet is the Ace of Swords, okay? Um, the Ace of Swords is about fiery, clear communication, okay, and very decisiveness, Um feeling very decisive one way or another about something, okay? So I think if this is, you know, um, are, if, are you done with them? I think you've made a clear decision here um, one way or another. Um, you know, you'll know best which decision you've made. Uh, maybe you have decided to let go of this. Um, according to the cards, it seems that you have you know, you're looking out to the horizon for, for new things. You're trying to leave behind this notion of what was. And it looks like you have made a clear decision, you know, in your mind, at least, about what you want. Okay? All right. So, let's pull three cards of advice. Actually, you know, I wanted to use this card, this deck for you guys. Uh, the Children of Lytha deck. Um, they're kind of hard to shuffle though, so be patient with me here. So three cards of advice for Libra, please, on are they done with their ex? Are they done with their ex from now until the end of February 2020? All right, Libra, let's see what we got. First card, the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> so we got the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I don't typically do reversals, but we'll take it because it came out. So, Page of Swords, this is actually your energy here, okay? Swords are um, air sign. So, you're a Libra. This is your energy here, okay? This is the energy of somebody, of an individual who is young, um, curious, okay? Someone who, you know, is willing to explore the world. Someone who um, is uh, curious, okay? So I think this is asking you in the position of the advice, it's asking you to remember or to hold on to that aspect about yourself, okay? To be this person, just like in this one here where she's like this kind of brave individual kind of looking out to the horizon. This is the same type of energy here. This is more fiery, but in this one here, I think it's saying that, you know, you you want to hold on to that intellectual curious side of you, okay? Um, because that's going to move you forward, keeping holding on to that energy um, or remembering that you are that individual, okay? The Wheel of Fortune um, is about cycles and beginnings, good luck, bad luck coming, you know, 
going, coming, you know, just cycles ending and beginning, okay? So it could be here that you're having a cycle and new beginnings are coming for you. And because you're going through these phases, you want to keep that Page of Swords curiosity and adventureness to you, okay? Now, the Three of Cups in the reverse can talk about people perhaps... You know, it's a little bit more of like a negative energy. Things to look out for can be like maybe people gossiping about you. Maybe people, you know, talking behind you and behind your back. Um, so that's just something to for you to be aware of. Okay. Even though there might be these things happening behind your back that you're aware of or not aware of. The thing is, you're this curious, adventurous individual who's just moving forward. Okay. All right. All right, Libra. Let's just pull a message from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck for you and see what message we get. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us one message for Libra on this. Are they done with their X spread from now? Until the end of February. One message for their highest good, please. Thank you. The owl. Nice. So the owl, you know, represents somebody who's very wise. Um, the colors in, in here are, are really beautiful, too. Very earthy tones. And you have a lot of earthy tones here in your spread all over here. So... This card, I feel, matches your um, your spread here. Let me see what the book has to say about it. All right, it says, Owl is the master of the night. She can see situations with perfect clarity, more so when it is dark, and is able to discern truth when others are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. Look around you, notice every detail and find the hidden messages brought to you by Owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friend who shows you that you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. Remember that the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognize. Do not be afraid of the truth as it will come as it will become your compass. Okay? All right. And I think, you know, I, I kind of see this page here, this page of swords as this owl energy, okay? Somebody, you know, kind of seeking truth or knowing truth, okay? All right, Libra, that's your reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.